Today, we'll learn about our digestive system. We all know that food provides us energy. Energy is obtained from food in the teeny cells of your body. But the food we eat, for example, rice, vegetables, and fruits cannot be directly used by our body to get energy. The pieces of food are too big even after we chew them. How do you think they enter inside the teeny cells? The food must therefore be broken down into small, simple pieces. The breaking down of food inside our body is known as digestion. The blood carries the broken down food to all cells of your body. Digestion takes place in so many steps. There are several organs in the body that help in digestion. Look here. This is the diagram of digestive system. Mouth, esophagus, liver, gallbladder, stomach, pancreas, large intestine, small intestine, and rectum. Together, they make up your digestive system. Now look closely to observe how the whole system works. As you know, when you eat food, you chew it into smaller pieces and swallow it. This mixes with saliva that comes from the salivary glands. The food then goes down the esophagus and then into the stomach. When the food leaves the stomach, it starts its journey into the small intestine. Digestive juices from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas help break down the food so your body can use it as energy. After winding its way through the small intestine, food enters the large intestine where water and minerals are pulled out of it. At the end of large intestine, the food is ready for another journey. And away they go. Here is the important points you need to remember. The breaking down of food into simple pieces is called digestion. Digestion takes place in digestive system of your body. Digestion starts in the mouth, continues in the stomach, and is completed in the small intestine. The digested food is absorbed into the blood in the small intestine. The undigested food is passed out of the body through the anus. So, you know how the digestive system works. This will definitely help you for classroom lesson on digestive system. You will not produce energy, have a balanced mood, or fight illness if you cannot digest, break down, and absorb nutrients. Don't worry, I will tell you how you can keep your digestive system healthy and strong. Avoid overeating. Do not eat too much and above your capacity. Have children drink their water before meals up to 15 minutes prior or about 30 to 45 minutes after meals drinking plenty of water is good for your digestive health eliminate processed foods all packaged and fast foods should be removed from the diet of children consuming a diet that is high in fiber and rich in whole grains vegetables legumes and fruits can improve your digestive health. Aim to sit down for breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner around the same time each day. Everybody should do exercise regularly. If you're experiencing digestive upset, taking these tips to heart may be the starting off point for getting your health back on track. Let's look at the digestive system diagram once again. 
You can copy this diagram in your notebook and place it in your room so that you can remember the part's name. Now you know all about digestive system. Stay tuned for more videos and always help others. Thanks for watching.